Hello everyone, I'm Matt Jurakowski. I'm here to discuss the article by Luchtenberg, which is Lyndon Johnson in the shadow of F. Franklin Roosevelt. Uh, Luchtenberg's thesis for this article is, one, Johnson tries to outdo Roosevelt and fails. Two, he o his overreach caused, led to Johnson's downfall. Or, in Luchtenberg's own words, quote, When he became president, he, Johnson, continued to pay homage to Roosevelt, but he was determined to step out from under his shadow. The breakaway had a portentous consequence for the country and for Johnson's place in history. Luchtenberg tells us why tells exactly how he did his research. Since 1983, I have worked in additional archives and I have benefited from the writings of a number of historians. I am especially indebted to the fine scholarship of Robert Dalek. Luchtenberg's Methodology. So in, our, so in the article, which is well sourced and has 56 endnotes, and some of them discursive, uh, Luchtenberg uses primary sources like interviews, uh, oral histories, personal writings, and newspaper articles. And he even uses his own interview with LBJ. And in this extensive social security, this, this extensive secondary sources. Methodology is sound, but conclusions are harsh. Luchtenberg is hammering home that LBJ is not FDR. Uh, Luchtenberg comes from the perspective of an FDR-centric universe. Luchtenberg has written several books on FDR. The article is from the volume called The Great Society and a High Tide of Liberalism, published in 2005. The first footnote in the article reveals that the article was originally adapted from a chapter of Luchtenberg's original work from his 1983 book, In the Shadow of FDR, Harry Truman to Ronald Reagan. Apparently, each of FDR's successors was reacting to FDR according to Luchtenberg. Luchtenberg views FDR as a reformer. FDR's implementation of fiscal liberalism meant a heavy intervention from the federal government to jumpstart the economy in a, in a crisis. Johnson's Great Society, however, was not a response to a crisis. To Luchtenberg, to quote Luchtenberg, Great Society was instead the product of the president's own vision, dreams, and political ambitions pass or equal his model at Franklin Roosevelt. Is Luchtenberg fair to Johnson? Was everything Johnson did really a response to his daddy issues with FDR? Is it possible that Johnson pushed a liberal agenda, even overreached because he had an opportunity with the fabulous 89th Congress uh, to pass legislation as described in the fierce urgency of now. How is it any different from the filibuster-proof Congress Obama had in 2009 that passed Obamacare and the stimulus? Is it, it seems to be a stretch for Luchtenberg to say that Johnson approached the 89th Congress as though it were a race with FDR. Personally, personality is a factor in Luchtenberg's analysis. Luchtenberg is turned off by the vulgar Johnson, especially compared to the genteel FDR. He was, quote, he was, quote, too crude to be an inspirational figure. The historical significance here is that Luchtenberg captures the disillusionment from the left in the in the Johnson administration. Johnson failed in his moments when all the stars aligned for liberalism to advance the cause of liberalism. Johnson undermined the social welfare state he expanded. Johnson could ram through legislation with treatment, but he was not an inspirational, inspire long-lasting commitment. American liberalism both advanced and retreated under Johnson's watch. It advanced in that government programs were created that still existed, but it also led to a conservative backlash 
that the argument that big government is not the answer to our, all our problems. Luchtenberg is, includes a telling observation about a legacy, quote, In the final years of his life, he learned that Roosevelt's picture hung in the wall at the 1972 Democrat Party National Convention. While his was nowhere to be seen, he was a non-person. More recently, when Obama had his moment, he was depicted as the new FDR, not LBJ. In conclusion, Luchtenberg, a historian from the New Deal Reformers camp, has written a harsh critique of Johnson. As a man obsessed with his legacy and competitioned with FDR to, quote, out Roosevelt Roosevelt. Luchtenberg goes too far in painting a black and white picture of Johnson. Actually, Luchtenberg may have his own FDR obsessions which shape his critique. Lack of nuance distracts from the overall presentation, but Luchtenberg's article voices frustration liberals have had over Johnson's presidency and reflect Johnson's lower standings compared to other Democrat presidents. This is Matthew Rakowski. Thank you for your time.